In September 2008, the world's media gathered near Geneva to witness the start of the most ambitious experiment in the history of science. The Large Hadron Collider is designed to recreate the conditions of the universe just after the Big Bang. So it's uh, still not working. Um, we, we, we broke it after nine days, actually. But, you know, we've been fixing it for, uh, for about a year now. And uh, it'll be working soon. It'll be working soon. The experiment will accelerate protons to within a fraction of the speed of light. When these tiny subatomic particles collide, one of the things we hope to find is evidence for the mysterious dark matter. The stars, galaxies and black holes visible with telescopes account for just 4% of the universe, according to astrophysical evidence. It sounds odd, but we currently believe that most of the universe is missing. If gravity behaves as we think it does, that when we look at how certain galaxies rotate, the way they move suggests that there must be more stuff in them than we can see. And that's the stuff that we're looking for. The problem is, by definition, you can't see dark matter. So we rely on particle detectors such as the compact muon solenoid, effectively cathedral-sized digital cameras. So using our detectors, we know the energy of everything that comes out of the proton collisions. And we also know the energy of everything that goes in. So uh, if we see a difference between those two numbers, then we know something's disappeared. Since nothing can be created or destroyed, and if we're very careful with our measurements, we should be able to say that was dark matter. In this way, we may be closer to figuring out what makes up a fifth of our universe. Though our work would be far from over. Even if we do find dark matter, uh, that still leaves some 70 odd percent of the universe unaccounted for. Um, but we call that dark energy, um, which sounds pretty cool, right? I mean, you know, I'm a physicist, I control dark energy. Of course, we don't really have any control over it. In fact, there are clearly many things we haven't pinned down at all. But experiments like the Large Hadron Collider may provide us with vital clues. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the more I study physics, the more I learn about the universe, the more qualified I am to say just how little we know about it. I think that's what I love about science.